welcome to my channel and if you're not new here welcome back to my channel thank you for clicking on this video this is Meek and I've been wanting to make this video for a little while now it is about a free plugin from one of my favorite music companies it is a VST by output and it's a free virtual VST instrument so I love this like I said it's free I use it a lot before I just went and bought the complete version of it. When I first started, you know, making music, I had this plugin and it's a great plugin. And they also have like free loops and rises that you can download for free. And I use these as transitions in my songs all the time. And these are quality sounds, trust me, I would not introduce you to nothing not bar, you know, not at the tip top bar, okay? So I'm gonna show you this and you can use it in the garage band. And even though it's free, it's a demo, the sounds are yours that you can actually use the sounds. The guy that made um, the beat for Cardi B's song You don't hit my line no more Ring Cardi B featuring Kalani He used this VST, you know, he used Signal And so professionals do use it So, But yeah, I opened um, I started playing, pulled this up And I was like, okay, this kind of sounds better than a piano Because it's doing I'm going to show you what it is really fast So please also purchase Arcade For 30 days for free Arcade is another force by output It's a sample library It's a sampler A VST has a lot of, you know, instruments Within it And I use it for mostly all of my beats Like if I'm not using the note kits, I'm using some sample I'm always finding an element Of it to use, you know, in my music Honestly, because it just fits So go ahead and purchase that And also watch my video of how to install Arcade in GarageBand. So, yes, I love output products, okay? Um, so, yeah, let's get into it. Let me show you how to use it. Our, our plugins and the Foley, you know, brings up the e piano, but I'm going to go here and I'm going to go to Contact and I'm going to go to Stereo and then I'm going to go to my library. All right. And remember, you got to download um, Contact to do it. All right. But yeah, all right, so then I'm going to go to Signal Demo, don't click that, and then here it is. All right, so, so Signal, as you can see, Signal has four macros, and these control the different effects on each sound. So if I play this note, all right, it gives it a different effect. These are the macros for the different, you know, pulse engines. So that's, I can go to the second macro and, you know, go up or down and that'll give me less or more. All right, I can make it dry. Wet is like more reverb. I can't have it closed. That's dope. With the wet, it sounds very majestic, you know? Or you could just completely turn off the post engine and just have like, you know, regular pianos kind of sound. All right, so if I turn off the post engine, so here we are on the post engine page okay as you can see there's two post engines you got a and you have b of course these control the pulse the rhythm of the instrument okay so you could turn the post engine off or you can turn it on okay that's what it on this what it off all right and when you do that you can still you know mess with the macros and you know manipulate the sound and things like that and here on each side you can control the volume and the panning of each different pulses okay you can turn it off and just have you know pulse B going or you can turn off the pulse B and just have pulse A all right it's super cool you can just get so much you can do so much with the sound so if you go here to the main rhythm you can click this arpeggiation icon where it has these dots you know going it's like with little midi notes going up and down up and down click that you can choose if you want an arp a loop a step or a wave so if i choose a step all right i can change you can modify it um you can you have three different ways to modify it you can clear it you can reverse 
or you can invert. Well, I just erased it, so you can just draw them in if you like. Okay. They usually come preset, but I, you know, I press clear. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to invert it, and now we're just going to flip that upside down, which is dope. You can have patterns. You can choose what type of pattern you want. All right, you can choose a triple ed, or you can choose a syncopated. I like the um, triple ed, so I'm going to okay. Pretty cool. And you can do that on both sides for both engines, A and B, okay? And I'm going to go to another one. All right. So over here is we have a wave and we have an arpeggiation. You can have two waves. And you can see how the pulses um, change the sound. I can do a loop. All right, and you can also see what instruments are being used. So it's two muted guitars. Now with the demo, you can't change the instruments, but if you, you know, get the full version, you could do so much more. But you could do a lot with this as well. All right, let's go. All right, and if I turn on the pulse engine, and you can still uh, modify the macros. See, the pulse just gives it that pulse that uh, super dope. But if I turn it off, I can't, I can't get that. It just, you know, clean. Not all that extra stuff. Pulse engine windows, they turn off when you turn off the pulse. So if I turn back on, you can modify it. Now, I think the dope thing about, like, you know, being able to choose, you know, the step, arp, or everything like that, is that you can just, you know, modify it so many different ways to get the sound that you like. And also, you know, you always want to play around with it. So now I got an arc. And, and so here on each side, you know, you got the main rhythm. You got the second rhythms for each poses. And you have, you could choose between a wave or a step. All right. You can modify that as well, too, on each side. All right. So here I'm going to go to a position here. I can change the rate of the appreciation. I can make it half. And it's 32 steps. I can even change that. So I can change that to, let's see, five. And what I just did there was turn up post B. If I turn it down, you won't get that horn sound. If I turn it up, you do. You can also pan these. So if you want post B to be on... You know, the right side, you can do that. If you want post A to be on the left side, you can do that. To give it that fuller stereo sound, it's super cool stuff, okay? So, if you go to effects here, you can also play with the overall sound of the entire, you know, master of, you know, the full thing. So, here you got your global sounds. You have so many different effects where you can edit as well. You can turn on your EQ, play with the frequency. play with the compression turn up the attack turn down the attack turn up the game all right you can turn on a phaser turn up the feedback on that make it wetter chorus let me turn up the phaser all right you can make it wetter pause All right, so it's super cool. And then you can also, you know, the effects, you can play with the effects for the pulses. All right, so here you got some tape saturation. You can see what's all on them and everything. And here, you know, you can, if you click on these, while they're gray, it'll just turn them on for you. And this is that to pitch and some frequency. You can turn off the delay. Super dope. All right, so this is glow, and this is a, this is you know for both pulses. Uh, yep, I believe so. So it's just super cool what you can do. I love a good reverb. Let's turn on some reverb. Super super dope. So yeah, you got your pulse engines, you got the effects, and then if you click here, you know where your sounds are. 
you can go click the name of the instrument and it'll bring you to the instrument windows like the presets and you can just choose different instruments and then over here is like the instruments classified so it'll bring up like what vibe you want if you want a clean sound it's going to bring up all of the clean sounds um if you want looped they'll bring up the loops and then as you can see you can if you click more if you click more than one at a time it'll bring up a clean loop many as you click it'll just filter you know the sounds out to focus on what you're looking for so i can pick beautiful and I can go to loop and piano. This is classic, the loop and piano. And it also tells you a little something about an indie piano looper tip. Indie piano looper tip. Great for track starter. And it is. So you can turn on the pulse for that. You see what I'm saying? So you can also record. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to record with it. One, two, three, four. I like that a lot. You see, you can record with it. All right, um, so let's go back to our instrument. And as you can see um, in your controls right here, in your controls right here, you can control like the sound and everything. But while you got it, you see how I got it recorded? I can actually edit, you know, the sound of my chord progression. And we can go to our effects. That's the pulse engines. And we can. And remember, we can edit these things. So on our pulse, on our pulse engine A, we have a looped. We have it, you know, a loop. And then we also have a loop on pulse engine B. And I can change where, you know, the loop starts. That sounds dope, that's different. So you can do a hundred different things with one sound. So you can even turn off this post engine, let's hear it. See, it's totally different. I could turn on a, um, put on a second rhythm from here. Turn on the sepsi All right, I got the, so I got the step around, so I can even change this. To step, I can change the pulse rate of the steppers. I can do triplet or dotted. I'm gonna do triplet. This is in a kissy. So let's let me um, bring up. Um, I'm gonna just use this chord progression. I'm gonna find like a vocal, um, like a vocal sample to play with this. This is really fun. Very therapeutic to do. Thanks, guys, for uh, watching this video. And I hope you get inspired. All right, so we're going to use some of these black key effects, okay? And the black key effects are these, you know, symbols you know ahead of the these are black keys you see where this like dna looking thing is and it's yellow these yellow lines are and these like arrow markers those are the black key effects and they change they change the sample you can make samples your own like that <laughs>
Alright, it's glitching. I got a lot going on. Alright, so let me um quantize this. Like I said, please forgive forgive the glitching guys. I wanna edit uh, my sound. So I wanna go to get some reverb. Space designer, yeah. Something dope you can also do with this is um go to tweak, go to playback. I can make that slower. All right. So I hope that you know you download Signal and play around with it. And like I said, even, a, even though it says demo sounds, you can actually use these sounds in your beats. All right, so thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you go ahead and get Signal, okay? And just follow all of the steps that I showed you in the video. And also pick up outputs, free loops and rises, okay? They're super dope quality. As you can see, Signal sounds amazing. You can do some amazing things. Also get Arcade, use my link to get it for 30 days for free and you can cancel it at any time um, but you can cancel at any time and just i just want you guys to have fun and experiment with quality sounds so you can find your sound okay so this was really fun and therapeutic i love it love i love i love i love output and if you want to go ahead and get the full signal please use my link to get signal the full version but other than that go ahead and have fun with this you know what i'm saying